record. Okay. So whenever we are joining to company, we are going to work on the UI people. Okay. For to display any data in our in our, in our website, suppose we want to display all this employee data. We cannot hard code all this data. Huh? Data is a trinits, one trinits. This is not correct. We want to this load data dynamically from the backend server. Okay. To load the data from the backend server, they need to give one URL. We cannot always go to developer one, give the URL, what is the response, and we cannot ask always. Okay. That is the reason sometimes well, most of the companies, what they will follow, they are going to have one website like one software called Swagger. So inside the swagger, here we are going to have a what are the endpoints. Some people they will call as endpoint, some people they will call as a URL. Okay. And both are same only. URL or endpoint, both are same only. Okay. So to get this endpoint, they will give this swagger URL to you. In the like from backend people, they will give this URL. Here, uh, whenever you have go to here. You can see something like a controller, controller. Most of the time they will see the controller. This is backend job. This is not our job. They will write all this code and they will give this URL to us. So whenever, suppose we want to show all the employees details here. So to show the employees details, if you go to the swagger, there is a employees details controller is there. If you open it here. So first one in the HTTP, HTTP, what are the APIs like? What are the methods are there? get post to put to delete okay so first they will ask what are the apis you have integrated with your backend server yes we have added a get to post to put to delete we are going to see all the demo let us see here in the backend what they have done get api okay whenever we want to get any data from backend server to in our mission then we can go for a get suppose whenever we want to save any data our our data to the server then we'll go for a post. So already I have the data. I want to change my employee name here, employee name. Already data is there, I want to update it. Then we will go for the what API, put API. I want to update the data, then put API. Suppose we want to delete the data, then we'll go for a delete API. So these are the four APIs. Most of the time we will call it as a card. C for create, R for retrieve. Ah. U for update, D for delete. So most of the time for every controller, they will write these methods, get to, post to, put to, delete. Okay. So as part of the our project, so what are the URLs it is required for us? Let us go to the simple uh, demo here. This is our demo project where we are going to do this also. So we are going to log in. Once we are going to log in, I'm going to log in. See here, we are going to have a companies first. So inside the company, see here, company, this is the dynamic data, one, two, three, four, something like this, and whatever the mobile number, we want to show a table like this in our project also currently, okay? For this reason, first we need to ask a hey, backend server, what is the URL for these companies? And what is the URL for this uh, employees? See here, whenever we are clicking, some loading is coming. Coming right, this is already we are done. Okay, we are going to do it dynamically. So, and what is the URL for the this letters? Everything they will give one URL. So, let us focus on the employees first, and later we will focus on the remaining things. Here in the employee, we are having a employee name, employee number, designation. All these details will be given from the backend only. So that is the reason. First, we'll go to Swagger. Here, what is the URL here in the Swagger? You can read. This is related to employee. So now we'll open the employee controller. And here we have four methods, right? First, we want to get the data. So what API we should open? Get API. Let's click here. Whenever you are clicking here, there is an option called Try it out. Try it out means you can click here so that you are going to get the data. What is the data you are going to get it? You will see the sample response here. That is the meaning. I'm going to click a sample, try it out, okay? And here there is execute is there, right? I will click on execute. Whenever you are click on execute, see, this is the response. So what is the response is coming? Uh, array. This is a JavaScript array, right? If you see, this is a JavaScript array. Inside the JavaScript array, what is the data we are having it? Uh, object so this is a one object this is a another object inside the object what is the data see here employee name and what is the name so trinits is zero if you see the real app here and let us reload so what is the data here trinits 
zero. And let's go to the second variable, turn it's a one. And see here, what's the one? One. So whatever the API response we are having it, uh, that they have displayed in a table. Okay, so now same API I want to try it out. Already executed, right? If I am executing, I am getting the response. So once you execute the response, here there is a URL here. This is a full URL. What is the URL requested URL? HTTP, Trinity Technologies demo slash something. So we are going to copy this URL, okay? And open in a new tab for testing purpose. I'll click on enter. This is a get request data. Whenever you are going to get response, something like this, so you are able to get the data. So this is nothing but a get API. Suppose you want to create a post API. Post means when, what you are going to do, you are going to create a new employee, okay? Then you will go for a post API. Click on post. Post, you cannot send it using the URL. You have to send it through the body only. That is the reason I cannot test in a new tab. I have to test it here. Okay, let us go here. And whenever I want to try it out, click on try it out. Okay, so here you can give any employee. Suppose bank account. I am going to give my bank account number is a one two three four five, and a designation. I am a senior software engineer. Senior engineer. I will type like this, and my date of joining this one, and my employee name is a Trinity's best employee. Something my name itself, Trinity's best employee. Okay. And the employee name is uh, one, two, three, four. You can give one, two, three. And don't focus about the ID. That is okay. And my PAN number is uh, Trinity's ABCD something. So if you go to here in the first page, there is no such employee name here. Okay. And I'm going to save. So how to save this one? Here there is a execute again. Once you enter all the details, uh, again you click on execute. Okay, if you are going to execute here, it will give a response. Okay, if the server is giving a 200, 200 means uh, you are giving a perfect data and your server is able to save that data and that is okay. But we want to see whether this data is coming or not. Let us go to, we have opened a new tab right now. Let us again reload the data. Whenever you are reloading the data, if you see here, Trinity's best employee is coming here. That means whatever you have saved automatically perfectly coming fine. And now it is saying that there is no issue in the backend. Backend is working perfectly. Sometimes what people will complain, I am saving it, but the data is not coming. If it is working in the Swagger, it will work in our code also. That is the first solution. Let us go and reload this page also. I will go to another page and I will come back here. So here also that, that, that should come. It is coming right now save is working fine now i want to update it update means what whenever you are going to click on edit so this best employee is there right no this is his name is not a best employee let's go with some excellent ram his name is ram so you are going to write like this and click on save this time it should not create a new one it, it should save that name only okay instead of saving here what i am going to do i am going to give the same demo in the in the api Okay, so let's go to API here. So what is the data you want to, let's click on it, try it out. Okay, so here you need to save, you need to give the, whatever the details it is available, copy the same detail for testing purpose, if you want to try it. Okay, and I will go to Swagger API and I'm going to paste it here. Okay, after once I'm pasting it, what is the name I want to give it here? Ram. Okay, let's give it Ram. And, and another thing is, uh let us here it is asking for some employee id if you check the url here they are writing one you are one id in the curly braces so whenever this is a curly braces means you need to send a dynamic parameter what is the id of this employee what is the id id property here what is the id 91647 copy this property and give it in the in this box for testing okay but whenever we are sending from the code let us see here and then click on a execute it execute it if this what is the response of code i am getting a 200 200 means uh, perfectly fine in the interview they will ask uh, what are the http response codes you have seen or you have handled in the project uh, so 200 means uh, we are able to save the request successfully fine okay now i want to see that one in the uh, in the api response let us go to next tab and verify that let us reload it again see what is the name i am having it uh, ram Automatically perfectly fine right where I am writing all this code inside the swagger only. Let us go to the last one. I want to like Ram has put his resignation. Now I want to put Ram from the office. Okay. Now again, I will click a delete, delete request. So here again, there is a employee ID is there right 
This time already we know the RAM employee ID, right? What is the RAM employee ID? Here 91647. Or you go to the next tab. You whichever the employee you don't like it, you copy that employee ID and go to your swagger and give here. So click on try it out. Without try it out, you cannot enter any data. Okay, click on try it out and enter that ID. Okay, and now you are going to click a execute. Once you click execute, the template will be terminated from the company. Okay, and what is the response again? You are getting it uh, 200. That means successfully working fine. So uh, now I'll go to my fourth tab and I'm going to reload it. Is there any RAM employee? No more. He put a resignation, he left the company. Okay, so like this. So, what are the APIs? We have it uh, four APIs. Okay, so what are the four APIs? Get to post to put to delete and another one is their patch is there if someone is asking what is a patch if you want to update partial data instead instead of updating all the data i want to update only name i don't want to apply employee number pan number then i will go for a patch you can say in our project we did not use any patch method but patch is to update only partial data okay so this methods who are going to define this get to post backend server people we are not going to define Backend people is going to define this API. They will give it whatever the URL they are giving. That URL we need to copy it and paste it. Not like our own URLs. Okay. So this is about the swagger. Suppose you want to try it for the company details. Same thing will be there. If you want to click on companies, try it out, execute. You are going to get all the companies. Suppose you want to create one company, new company. Huh? Click on post company and try it out. You enter all the details. Okay, and click on uh, execute. Suppose if I am going to execute something like this, uh, uh, if this is working fine, it is going to give a 200. If I am going to try again, trying to do it, uh, this time what is the error? 400. 400 means uh, already another company exists with this name. You cannot write a duplicate uh, company names, multiple companies. That is the reason. Sometimes they will give a 400 means a bad request. Uh, your requesting is not correct. Uh, already existing data is coming. Something like this type of validations backend people will do. Okay, so once you do this, you can copy the URL here, ma. Same URL only. But uh, put we we'll we need to add a slash ID, and for delete we need to write a slash ID. Last we need to add the ID last. Okay, that is a special thing we need to do this one. Okay, so this will come as a swagger in your resume. You can add like a swagger, and we know the swagger also. Okay, so this swagger will be developed by whom? Backend people, we are going to use it. So whenever we are going to write a, suppose we are going to write a feature for employees, employees page, okay? So first, what do you want to load the data? Which API you want to get API? Now I want to update the data. Suppose I want to edit this data. We have done from Swagger right? Let us do it from application. So his name is uh, Trinits ABCD and click on save. So now once we save it, so what is the data we want to say here? We want to see there is an error while saving the data. 400 means a error. So if there is an error, we are going to. Suppose you want to delete this one. You click on delete. So that uh, zero is deleted. This is a toast message also coming. We will also do the same thing later. Okay. For delete what API? Delete API. For update, post API. Update, put API. For creating a post API. Okay. These are the four APIs. First we have tried in the swagger. Let us try to go with, with the code. So we'll stop uh, the swagger and we'll try directly coding.